Hello, in this video we're going to talk about tripods and I know, I know, tripods are not the most exciting thing in the world, but they are an essential tool in so many situations in photography and videography. But the problem with tripods is that they are heavy and they are bulky and they are even disallowed in many places. So, what I'm about to show you today is a tripod solution that you can have on you literally at all times and you can even hold up your full-size DSLR with a decent lens on it. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so if you think about tripods, you probably think about something like this. And look how big it is. Even if you pack it, you know, it's still big. It's hard to pack it to a backpack. It's hard to pack it into your suitcase when you travel. It takes a lot of space. It's heavy. And like I said, if you want to go to a place like the top of an Empire State Building or Rockefeller Center or any famous, like, you know, observation deck, you probably won't be let up there with a tripod this size. So you're gonna need something smaller. So you may be familiar with something like a Gorillapod and a Gorillapod is significantly smaller, it's more lightweight, it's more versatile, it packs nicely, you can throw it into your backpack, it doesn't take much of a space, but it still, you know, has this form factor that, you know, you need to remember to take it, you know, you cannot just have it, you know, in your pocket at all times, so we need something smaller. So, here's my DSLR with a pretty small lens on it and believe it or not, it already has a tripod on it and if you look closely here, I have a tripod that is called Joby Microstand it's, uh, it's about 50 bucks on Amazon I will put links to all the stuff that I'm talking about here down in the description box of this video so if you want to check it out for yourself, links are down below So, the way that this tripod works is basically you can extend it like this and you can just place it somewhere and it works nicely it can certainly fit in your camera bag with your camera on it. You can take it off and you can put it into your pocket. It's super small. But the problem is that this tripod wouldn't hold a bigger lens. Look what happens if I put a lens like this onto this camera. So now, if I open the tripod and try to place my camera on it, it will just tip forward because now this setup is what we call front heavy and with a front heavy setup like this this tiny tripod is not able to hold such a massive lens so what we need to do is we need to use something else in order to transfer the center of the mass of this setup more towards this point where the tripod is mounted because uh, if the center of the mass is right above this tripod it will not tip over in any direction so, what we can use, I have it in my pocket, it's so small, it's this, it's, uh, it's called double ball head from small rig and the way it works is that you undo this thumb screw and you have two ball heads on both sides here, so you can position it the way you want, you have a quarter inch screw here, you have a quarter inch socket here, you can take this off even if you want to, and you have two screws on both sides. It's originally made to um, mount some kind of external monitor or maybe an external microphone onto a camera rig, but we can use this with this tiny tripod and a DSLR to transfer the center of the mass towards the point where you mount the tripod. So let's put this back on. And we're gonna angle it like this, like this. So it's 90 degrees here and 90 degrees here. Okay, looks like this. Let's tighten it. And now, if I let go, the camera stands still. You can even angle it a little bit if you want to, or you can use those ball heads in order to get uh, the exact tilt angle that you want. But basically, with this setup, with this little contraption, you can use your DSLR sized camera with pretty much any you know reasonable lens. If you have a telephoto lens, you're gonna need a lens bracket in order to mount the tripod on the lens, which will again transfer the center of the mass accordingly. But with a lens like this and this little double ball head from small rig paired up with this um, micro stand from Joby, you can pretty much have a fully functional mini tripod on you at all times and use it like this. Now, 
I wouldn't trust this in a super windy day because it's not very stable, you know, but uh, if you're in the room or maybe you are just taking a long exposure photograph and you can basically hold your hands, you know, inches away from the camera, it's definitely safe. You can take long exposure photographs in night, you can take selfies, you can film yourself, you can, you know, everything that a tripod allows you to do. So I can highly recommend this setup. Again, links will be down below. And that's basically it for today. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below. It really makes a difference. Also, consider subscribing to the channel because there will be more videos like this. And I also make travel videos, vlogs, photography tutorials, filmmaking tutorials, drone flying tutorials. So if you are interested in any of that, you know what to do. But that's it for now. Have a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.